p.m. Roll call, please. Mayor Lahousis? Here. Vice Mayor Carr? Here. Commissioner Terrapani? Here. Commissioner Donovan? Here. Commissioner Vatikiotis? Here. Tonight's invocation will be given by very Reverend Father James Rusakis, Vicar Rusakis, Vicar of Tampa Bay for uh, Metropolis of Atlanta for the Greek Orthodox Churches. If you please stand and remain standing. Let us pray to the Lord, Lord of mercy. Lord our God, maker of all things and father of all humanity, we bow our heads before you in deepest gratitude for the countless blessings which you bestow upon this great city of Tarpon Springs and those who were elected and have accepted the responsibility of leadership as well as those who will leave their office after years of devoted service. Mayor Chris Alahuzus and Commissioners Townsend Tarapani and Connor Donovan, who we offer to you in thanksgiving. We also ask that you bestow upon your servants, Dr. Costa Vatikotis, Mayor Elect and Commissioner Elect Mike Eisner, Panayotis Kulias, and Craig Lunt strength from above and profound wisdom to bear well the awesome responsibility of their office. Grant them keen discernment and brotherly love so that they may continue to bring honor to their office as mayor and commissioners, bringing honor to them and this city in properly understanding and handling issues of vital importance for the citizens of Tarpon Springs. Enlighten them once again so that they may conform the precious value to ser of serving to this city. Be their light when the day is dark, their fortress in a house of defense in time of trouble, their courage in the time of adversity, be their hope when all other hope fails, and at all times be their salvation. Grant them well health of mind and body direct their thoughts in the way of truth that they may enact legislation that is true, just, and fair, tending toward excellence and virtue. May they lead this city, participating as, civil, as city officials in ways of prosperity and righteousness. We offer this petition to you, O Lord, for you are worshiped and glorified throughout the ages. Amen. Amen. Thank you. <clears throat> Ms. Maria Lavilla, if you please come forward. Commander, presentation of colors. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United, United States, States of America and to the Republic for which stands, stands one, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The National Anthem. say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming 
whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming on the rocket's red still there who oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the Commander, retire the colors. Please be seated. <clears throat> Father Rusakis, thank you for the invocation and the blessings. Ms. Maria Lavita, thank you for the beautiful national anthem. And of course, the color guard is outstanding as always. Now we'd like to recognize the, best, the past city officials that are here with us tonight. I will begin with uh, Father Haros and Father Theophanes. Welcome. The Honorable Congressman Billy Rakis is here with us tonight as well. Honorable James Colienas. Honorable John Terrapani. <laughs> Honorable David 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 Panther. <laughs> Honorable Anita Protos. Honorable Peter Dalakus. With us also we have Dr. Davis, the Provost of St. Petersburg College. Thank you all for being here tonight. The uh, first item on the agenda is presentations to the outgoing commissioners, and I'd like to ask Commissioner Terrapani and Commissioner Donovan to come in front of the podium. We will start with uh, Commission Terrapani. Commission Terrapani, on behalf of the city, the Board of Commissioners, and the people of Tartar Springs, as a token of appreciation, we'd like to present you with some gifts. We'd like to present you with this gift that it says, Townsend Terrapani, in recognition and appreciation of dedication and devoted service as a city commissioner, 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022. Mayor Chris Alahuzos, Vice Mayor Jacob Carr, Commissioner Towson Terrapani, Commissioner Connor Donovan, and Commissioner Costa Vatikioris. Congratulations thank and thank you. Appreciate it. 
this year we also have something special and comfortable for you with the sponge diver. Very nice. Thank you, Mary. Thank you. Appreciate it. Commission Donovan, in recognition and appreciation of dedicating the water service as city commissioner in 2019, 2020, 2021, and 2022, the city of Tarbo Springs. Mayor Chris Alahuzas, Vice Mayor Jacob Carr, Commissioner Thompson Terrapani, Commissioner Connor Donovan, and Commissioner Costas Vaticioras would like to present this to you as a token of appreciation for your service to the city of Tarbor Springs. Thank you. <laughs> we also have some conference here with a sponge diver. <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, You're also getting a, a nice helmet <laughs> <laughs> with a clock on there. I don't think it's fit so there. just to tell you that you need to come back and serve the people of Tarbor Springs. <laughs> Thank you. Vice Mayor Carr has a presentation that he wants to make. Mayor, uh, you've given out a couple cufflinks to the other commissioners, and we, don't want, we do not want you to feel left out, so you have some also, so we want to pass these off to you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Uh, we also have a plaque that the city clerk's office put together for uh, Mayor Chris Alusis. Uh You slammed this thing down a few times uh, over the past six years. Uh, it's been an honor to serve with you. And uh, this is for Chris Alhousis, Mayor, City of Tarpon Springs, 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. In recognition and appreciation of your dedicated and devoted service as mayor. And this is um, you as mayor, myself as vice mayor. Uh, Commissioner Townsend Terrapani, Commissioner uh, Do uh, Connor Donovan, and Commissioner Costa Vaticiotis. It's been you. an honor. Thank you. What is that? In addition, uh, the clerk's office did a great job uh, putting a collage together of a lot of the different accomplishments that you've had during the office, uh, during your service. Uh, they did a beautiful job capturing a lot of the moments uh, throughout the years. Thank you. Did you find all these pictures? <laughs> <laughs> Facebook's a wonderful thing. <laughs> and this is my favorite, my two granddaughters. Thank you. Thank you. Mayor, we, we do have a couple other things too. Um, this is for um, yourself as well. Um, and um, Congressman Miller Rackus's office helped out with this. And in your honor, uh, we had a flag flown over the Capitol um, uh, in your honor of all the years of service that you had as a mayor. And so I want to present that to you. Uh, and we have a certificate here for you as well. Anybody can get. 
<coughs> we uh, also don't want to, um, Commissioner Donovan and Commissioner Pan Terry Panny, uh, we also had one flown for both of you as well. Um, so it's been an honor to serve with you both. And we, uh, uh, again, thank uh, Congressman Bill Rackus's office and uh, help, helping with coordinating this and flying the flags in honor of you both for the years of service for Tarpon Springs. That's awesome. Thank you. With us tonight, we also have the Consul General of Greece, the Honorable Tsokos. Thank you for being here tonight. <laughs> and the Honorable Don Dorma just walked in. Him and I, we went to high school together in Tarbell High. We're now going to go to uh, Commissioner Commons, and I want to start my comment with uh, Commissioner Terrapani. Commissioner Terrapani, I want to thank you for your service to our community. It has been a pleasure working with you. Thank you for serving nine years as the Commissioner and a Vice Mayor. And thank you for being the first Chairman for the Budget Advisory Committee. I remember the day when I recruited you to become the chairman at Starbucks. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Commission Donovan, you made history for being the youngest commissioner in Tarpa Springs. I really appreciate your hard work, your dedication, your professionalism, and the wisdom that you brought to the commission. It is really a pleasure working with you. And I hope you stay active in the community. Vice Mayor Carr, I enjoy working with you, and I'd like to express my appreciation to you for your service, and also for covering for me the times and the days that I was not able. Commissioner, Mayor-elect Vaticuras, it was a pleasure working with you the last two years, and congratulations on your victory. Thank I you. know you're gonna be a great mayor. Thank you. Now I'd like to go to the public comments. If anyone has any comments, please come to the podium. State your name and your address for the record, and you'll be given four minutes. Good evening. Anita Protus, 901 Bayshore Drive. Mayor Alahousas, remember when you first ran, we had a difference of opinion, but you have proven yourself very worthy for being mayor of Tarpon Springs. Thank you. And I want to thank you, what you how you've represented Tarpon, not only Tarponites, but the Greek community itself. You have been a great asset to us. And when you go to Greece pretty soon for your vacation, take that collage with you so they can see everything that you've done. Thanks. Townsend, I'm proud of you. You've done well in the community. I, I cry because I'm so proud of what you have done for us. The businesses you brought into Tarpon. The developments you and your partner, David Banther, have talked to come into Tarpon Springs. The bloodline you've given to this community, monetarily. The uh, creation and rebuilding of old buildings, bringing businesses in. You've done so much that half the community doesn't realize everything you've done. And I thank you because you have really <coughs> been a great representative of Tarpon Springs. Thank you. Commissioner Donovan. Thank you for what you've done for the youth in this town. You've given the, the youth miles and miles that has never been done before. The money you've accumulated for our youth fields, for the baseball, the football, everything. You've gone above and beyond into the future, and I wish you the best. 
as a city manager wherever you go. And if you need a letter of recommendation, I can give you a hell of a letter because of everything that you've done. Thank all of you for giving us everything and taking all the guff that you got. It was well worth it because you have really produced for our community. I wish you best of luck, God bless you, and do come back again one day. You've made Tarpon grow, and you've strengthened our monetary value in this community. Thank you. I am here for a proud wife moment. <laughs> I met Townsend in college. Would you please state your name? <laughs> Jenna Terrapani, 434 Innis Drive. Um, I met Townsend in college while we were both attending Auburn University. I'm from South Tampa, and he went to high school there. So I had heard of him, because it's hard to forget a name like Townsend. But I had never met him. The first spring break after we started, <laughs> After we started dating, no, no, come stand next to me. He invited me to come to Tarpon Springs. He took me out on the boat to the island and told stories about his father and grandfather's generations used to camp there. He showed me the public artworks painted by his mother years before him. When we came home that summer, we spent so much time in Tarpon. It was at that point in our relationship that we started talking about our future. Townsend had plans. I thought I had plans. I was getting a major in accounting. I was working with recruiters. I knew what my job was going to be when I graduated. <laughs> but Townsend had plans far beyond getting a job. And Marvel has plans to derail this speech. If I go over in my four minutes, I can use their time, right? <laughs> um, he told me about how he wanted to be a city commissioner, how his dad and great-grandfather had been city commissioners. He told me about all the wonderful contributions and improvements made by the generations before him. He told me he loved this town so much that he wanted to, to run as soon as we graduated. He told me he wanted to get his broker's license and open his own real estate brokerage in Tarpon. That he, that he wanted to buy old homes and remodel them and turn them into rental properties. And maybe even one day we could buy a building in downtown Tarpon and slowly renovate and revitalize the town he loved. In the same conversation, we discussed how we both had been raised in old homes and that he wanted to buy one, we wanted to buy one for ourselves to renovate we said we wanted a big family, four kids to be exact, that we wanted to travel the world, but most importantly, that we wanted to raise our kids in the same town that his ancestors have inhabited for over 100 years. I am here to tell you how proud I am of this man who has worked towards every goal he has set for himself. <laughs> I've never met someone with such profound determination and commitment at such a young age. We walked this town going from door to door when I was 23 years old. We stood on corners holding signs, and since he was elected, he has never wavered on his love for this town and his desire to see it thrive, despite all of the obstacles that have come his way. Please join me in thanking Townsend for his nine dedicated years to this city. Thank you. Do we have any other public comments? My name is Isaac Day. I'm of, I am stay at 606 East Oakwood Street, Tarpon Springs, Florida. I served 23 years in the Army, and I'll tell you, Tarpon Springs has continued to grow. 
I am proud of the direction it's going. Um, with purpose and direction, we will all work as a family, as a team. I see Tarpon being the, the center, being, the, being the, the example of what our country should look like. So I thank all of you all, and we look forward to working with you. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments? I hear none. The uh, <clears throat> item number two of the agenda is the resolution 2022-10 ratification of election results. City Attorney, Mr. Trask, please read the resolution 2022-10. Thank you, Mayor. This is resolution 2022-10, a resolution of the Board of Commissioners of the City of Tarpon Springs, Florida, ratifying and confirming the results of municipal election held on March 15, 2022, and providing an effective date hereof. Whereas the municipal election of the city of Tarpon Springs, Florida was held on the 15th day of March, 2022, and whereas the names of Robin Sanger and Costa Vaticiotis appeared on the official ballot as candidates for the office of mayor, and whereas the names of Lisa Malamatis Benitez and Craig Lunt appeared on the official ballot as candidates for the office of commissioner seat two, and whereas the names of Michael Eisner and George Koulianis appeared on the official ballot as candidates for the office of commissioner seat three, and whereas the names of Paniotis, Peter Coulias, and Jacqueline Turner appeared on the official ballot as candidates for the Office of Commissioner Seat 4, and whereas the Pinellas County Canvassing Board has validated and confirmed the election returns for each candidate as follows. Under Mayor Robin Sanger, 2,418 votes, Costa Vaticotas, 3,135. Under Commission Seat 2, Lisa Malamatis Benitez, 2,490 votes, Craig Lunt, 2,881 votes. Under Commissioner Seat 3, Michael Eisner, 2,752. George Koulianis, 2,743. Under Commissioner Seat 4, Paniotis, Peter Koulias, 2,876 votes. Jacqueline Turner, 2,619 votes. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Board of Commissioners of the City of Tarpon Springs, Florida, that, Section 1, the returns and findings of the Pinellas County I'm sorry, the Pinellas Canvassing Board B and the same are hereby ratified and confirmed in all respects. Section two, that Costa Vaticiotis is hereby declared to be legally and lawfully elected to the office of mayor for a term of three years commencing April 12th, 2022. Section three, Craig Lunt is hereby declared to be legally and lawfully elected to the office of commissioner seat two for the unexpired term of one year commencing April 12th, 2022. Section four, Michael Eisner is hereby declared to be the legally and lawfully elected to the office of commissioner seat three for a term of three years commencing April 12th, 2022. Section five, that Pandiotis uh, Peter Kulias is hereby declared legally and lawfully elected to the office of commissioner seat four for a term of three years commencing April 12th, 2022. In section six of this resolution shall uh, take effect immediately upon its adoption. Mr. Mayor, that was a reading of resolution 2022-10 in its entirety. Thank you, Mr. Trask. City Clerk, Mr. Jacobs, do you have any comments on re-election results? No, thank you. Uh, are there any public comments on this item? Peter is 514 Ashland Avenue. First, 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 first. God bless you, Irene and Michelle. I know what you go through every election year and these people don't totally understand. But I want to impart onto you a bigger message of what occurred. As you heard Attorney Trask say, legally and binding we, the citizens, voted for these people as our representatives. As you noticed, one election was nine votes apart. They had a recount and we confirmed through the canvassing board and I would like to see us go back to having our own representative at the canvassing board, uh, which we used to do before. But uh, as 
Irene can attest, we had uh, about 28, 29% return out of 19,000 voters. So less than 30% of the people of Tarpon Springs made an effort to go out and vote. It's our God-given right here because we fought. You heard the national anthem? Bombs bursting in there. And I'm going to talk about this later. But <laughs> what we have accomplished is what is a beacon to people all over the world who want to establish their own way of living. So, I thank God that we are all fortunate enough to be here, to have the good gracious of what we have, to have a peaceful transition. People who will now, I hopefully, be more responsive to the city, as the Miss Terpani mentioned. Uh, maybe the kids could have their minutes, but we'd like to see minutes donated back again at some point and opening up more to the public. But people in Ukraine are fighting for their own democracy, and we only turn out less than 30%. You need to be aware. You need to be involved. Because if we don't, it will disappear on us. It will disappear. God bless all of you all for your service. And may we God bless all those who are coming forward to take your places. May God give them wisdom, truth, and strength. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have any other comments on this item? I hear none. The chair will detain a motion. Motion approved. Second. Are there any commission comments? Yeah, no, roll call, please. Commissioner Vatikiotis? Yes. Commissioner Donovan? Yes. Commissioner Terrapani? Yes. Vice Mayor Carr? Yes. Mayor Alhusa? Yes. <coughs> we now go on to the public comments on the items that we did not discuss this evening. If you have any comments, please come forward, state your name and your address for the record. You'll be given four minutes. I hear none. Well, that concludes the special session agenda, and we go to staff comments. Police Chief Young. Uh, thank you, Mayor. I just want to say thank you on behalf of all the members of the Tarpon Springs Police Department, uh, Commissioner Donovan, Commissioner Tarpani, and Mayor Alahousas. It's been a pleasure working with you all these years, and uh, speaking not only as the Chief of Police, but more importantly as a resident, thank you for making Tarpon Springs a better place. <clears throat> thank you. Seated attorney. Thank Mr. you, Mayor. I, I too would like to um, thank uh, Commissioner uh, Donovan, thank Commissioner Tirapani, um, and obviously you, Mayor, um, for your uh, work here at the city. Um, it's truly been a pleasure rep uh, representing you as uh, three of my five bosses, um, and I, I appreciate that fact. Obviously, uh, Commissioner Vatikiotis, Mayor elect Vatikiotis, and um, current Vice Mayor Carr. Um, I'm looking forward to working with you um, on the next uh, commission. So thank you for your service as well. Thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. <laughs> City Manager, Mr. Lecouris. Well, what can I say, Mayor? Um, me and you have about 12 years together. Um, accomplished a lot in that time. I was glad to work and serve under you and to get done what we did for the community and Townsend's close to the same. Nine, you did bring him to me for uh, the budget advisory board to start off. So we started that off well. And then Townsend again, nine years and all we worked and accomplished together. It was, a, it was an honor working for you too. And, and 
Our commissioner of three years, he brought back my passion for youth. Anybody knows me in my younger days, I had a passion for youth. Um, you brought back that passion and I was so glad I was able to accomplish um, what your goals and objectives were for the youth of this community. It, it brought that back because the mayor was taking me to seniors. I was developing a senior center and stuff. Um, as I'm old now, but you brought it back a little of that spark of youth and we were able to do a lot for the youth of this community. So all of you, we accomplished a lot and I'm very proud to have served under you. Thank you. City Clerk, Ms. Jacobs. Mayor Alahuzis, Commissioner Terrapani, and Commissioner Donovan, um, it has been a pleasure working with you and a pleasure working for you. Um, I wish you the best in your futures. Thank you. Okay, next is the uh, board comments. I will begin with that. I prepare some comments that I'd like to share with you. My fellow commissioners, ladies and gentlemen, six years ago, the citizens of Tarper Springs gave me the great honor and opportunity to serve them as your mayor for two terms. I wish to thank them, thank all of you who are here today and for allowing me this honor. The job of a mayor is very personal. I had the opportunity to hear from you through letters, emails, phone calls, meetings, in my office, events, or just coming out of Publix. I really got to know this community that inspired me to work harder, to do more, and do better. I'd like to thank my uh, family for supporting me and allowing me the opportunity to serve you for 18 years. I served as a member of Planning and Zoning Board and the Board of Adjustments six years as a commissioner and a vice mayor, and now completing six years of service as your mayor. I am grateful for the relationships that I have made over the years with the city staff, the city manager, directors, and all the employees, especially Trish Hickey, who is one of the best person to work with. I'd also like to thank the city clerk Mrs. Jacobs and her staff for all the help that you provide us all these years. I had the privilege to work alongside my fellow commissioners and I am proud of both the current and the past boards. We all work together to get a lot accomplished for the city and for the people of Tarpa Springs, even if we did not always agree. During my term, I worked very close with the staff the city manager to accomplish goals that were important to me, <coughs> such as creating the budget advisory board, the senior information center, and to make sure transportation is available for our seniors. As you know, I am very partial in providing services to our seniors in Tarpa Springs, and with the hard work of the board of commissioners, the city manager, staff, and volunteers, I can now say that we have just completed the Senior Center where seniors can gather to socialize, to learn about programs and benefits are available to them. Our youth is our future. As a team, we were able to build a recreation field, sports park, dog park, fitness area, along with improvements to the Sisler field and soccer fields. Our city is in a sound financial state with a balanced budget <coughs> and $9 million in surplus for emergency situation, which says a lot about team effort of staff and the Board of Commissioners. We use some funds to help our local businesses financially during the pandemic to keep operating while the federal and state provide their own financial assistance later. Our infrastructure is being updated and replaced with a new underground piping and sewer and drinking water. We corrected the sunny day flooding at the sponge ducks and we're addressing issues of sea level rise. And now we have the dollars available to build the underground pumping station to correct the rain flooding on the Deccanese Boulevard. 
the project is ready to begin. The city manager, Mr. Likouris, advised me that we completed a minimum of 100 projects each year, and that, my friends, is a good team effort from everyone. I'm glad we had, we, the Board of Commissioners and with staff, the residents, are working together with our federal and state leaders to provide funding for dredging the Anklo River and the Trinity Basin to guarantee our culture and our local economy. That project is ready to begin. A big thank you to the members of the advisory boards for volunteering to serve the people of Tarpa Springs and to assist the Board of Commissioners. I'd like to thank the Chamber of Commerce, the Merchant Association, and all the nonprofit organizations for always providing services for our residents and visitors. Especially, I would like to thank the volunteers of our sister cities program. From St. Petersburg College, under the leadership of my friend, Dr. Rod Davis, to the hospital, under the leadership of my friend, Jason Dunkel. I appreciate all the support over the years and the hard work of our sister cities program in promoting culture, economic, and development, and education. <clears throat> I'd like to congratulate the new mayor, Vatikiotis, and the new commissioners, and wish them all a good journey ahead as they move forward for the betterment of the city and work together as a team to keep Tarpa Springs the beautiful <laughs> and wonderful place that it is. In closing, I'd like to uh, thank you all for the privilege of serving you as a mayor. It has been the greatest honor of my life. Thank you. Vice Mayor Carr, you're next. Thanks, Mayor. Um, I'm, I'm not leaving. I'm staying around for another year. So um, I, I just want to say it's been an honor to, to serve with this board um, overall. Um, sorry, you're behind me. I can't. I'm going to talk both ways, all right? Um, I'm going to start with you, Mayor. Uh, Mayor, it's, it's been an honor to work with you. Uh, realistically, it's, it's been one of those things. You look on Facebook, and you're like, how is the mayor able to be here, here, here? He's everywhere. Um, and that's really something I think you could take with you in part of your legacy. I mean, you literally were everywhere. Where there's an opportunity, uh, where there's a new business, where there is an event, it's something to, to be proud of, I think, and have our mayor represented everywhere we have something going on. So uh, I want to say thank you for that, representing our city so well over the past six years as mayor. Uh, it's been an honor to sit next to you uh, as vice mayor for the past two years and as a commissioner for the past five years. Um, it really, um, it's your next chapter of life that you're going into, uh, official retirement, right? Um, being a mayor is considered a part-time job, but we all know it's, it's a much more than a part-time job. Um, and there's many, many hours that people don't see, the residents don't see. There's a lot of uh, work that goes on behind the scenes with staff members and different parts of the, the government that you're working with uh, to make sure Tarpon's a better place. Uh, so with that, I want to say thank you for everything that you've done. Uh, thank you for making Tarpon Springs a better place and a better place to live for many more generations. Thank you. Uh, don't want to stop there. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, Commissioner Terrapani, uh, we grew up about two doors down from each other. Um, you grew up on the Golden Crescent on the bayou. We played many years as young kids on the bayou, swimming in the bayous. Uh, never would I have guessed as a child that we would end up serving on a board representing the city of Tarpon Springs together. Uh, I do want to say it's an honor to, to sit here with you over the past two, um, three years that you were on the board. Um, it's, uh, it, it's great to be able to, to cherish a friendship that goes back to um, our childhood and to be able to do great things for our city. Um, overall, it's, 
a huge commitment. I know as a, as a dad with young kids, uh, you having four kids, um, a newborn to, I'm not sure how old Leon is, but I know it's, it's a huge commitment, a huge sacrifice, and I thank you for that. Um, I know we don't make money up here. We get paid a small stipend, but the sacrifice of giving up games, giving up time with family, giving up money you can make at work to serve the residents is not seen always, but we really appreciate that. And we appreciate you making that sacrifice to make Tarpon Springs a better place. Um, without you here, I think we wouldn't have had the growth that we've had, and your wisdom and knowledge on the board has really gone a long ways. Um, thank you for moving the city forward during these times that have been challenging. Um, you, you served six years and you came back for three more, and uh, that speaks volumes. Uh, you were the youngest elected ever. I think you beat out your dad by that, and then Commissioner Donovan comes along and knocks you off that pedestal pretty quick. Um, so, um, but thank you for your service. Thank you so much for um, calling Tarpon Springs home with your business. Um, thank you for your dedication, and I'm looking forward to, to seeing you, uh, what you all do, and for many more years in the community. Thanks, Jacob. <laughs> Commissioner Donovan, uh, I think you proved a lot of people wrong and did a great job as your commission uh, service. You, you were, um, you served, your wisdom was well beyond your years, and I think that showed for many things that you've done and accomplished uh, as the board, on the board for the past three years. It's been an honor to watch you grow up. We grew up going to the Methodist Church together. Um, again, something I never would have guessed growing up that we have, uh, we're about 10 or 11 years apart from each other. Um, I would be serving on a board with someone that I was helping out with in childcare or in kids' church at the Methodist Church, and it's, it's truly been an honor to serve with you. Um, the wisdom that you've shown from just a different perspective over the past three years has been incredible. Um, the, it started off with uh, the residents voting you in, uh, and you, where you'd be out in the incumbent, which is a huge accomplishment, and then you've you follow through with a lot of your promises, and I really appreciate that, what you've done for our city as a whole. Um, what you've done, challenging um, different things, challenging the status quo, working on different, pushing the city to accomplish um, and to apply for more grants, to bring in more fun, to bring in more funding to the city. Um, there's a lot of foresight that you had that you brought to the board and wisdom to the board. So I do want to say thank you so much for your service. Again, it's there's nothing up here that we're up here to say we're doing this for the glamour and glory and and the money. Um, it's a significant amount of time. It costs us money to be here, and I really appreciate you making that dedication during that time while you're getting your master's degree, while you're figuring out what your next chapter of life is going to look like. Uh, I do want to say it's been an honor to serve with you, and thank you for your service to the Tarpon Springs residents. I think I'll have my comments for the mayor-elect the next time around when we do the election part. Okay. Commissioner Terrapin. Thanks, Mayor. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for coming tonight. Uh, it's hard for me to believe uh, another term as an elected official has come and gone. After nine years as a commissioner and several other years as an appointed member on advisory boards, I must say I'm more than ready to solely focus on my beautiful family and the life my wife and I have created. I chose for us to live in Tarpon Springs so I could dedicate myself to my community or to community service and making our town a better place to live. I chose not to seek re-election. After nine years, I am choosing not to miss any more Little League baseball games or other milestones with my family. I'm choosing to have my Tuesdays back, and I couldn't be more happy about my decision. I'm so proud of my family and the vast contributions we've made to this community. I want to thank my parents, and most importantly, I want to thank my wife and our children. Thank you for sharing me. Thank you for the sacrifices we have made. Thank you for keeping me strong in moments when I did not want to return to City Hall for another Tuesday night's meeting. To the city manager and all of our talented staff, I say thank you as well. While on the commission, I tried to always put myself in your shoes and make the community recognize, and make sure the community recognized what a great and talented staff we had helping us. Thank you for, all, for, thank you for not only your friendship, but also your professionalism and good luck in the years to come. To my fellow commissioners and mayor, this last year has been taxing, and in some cases even brutal, but I am proud to have served with all of you. Connor, as a young man, you have impressed me as a commissioner. You are not afraid to stick to your guns and do what you believe is right for this community, and that's honorable. Jacob, <clears throat> as you said, we go back. We go way, way back to Tarpon Springs Little League 
we go back to riding our bikes around Spring Bayou before it flooded with every high tide. You're a great commissioner. You're always very well prepared. You're never afraid to agenda something and at a minimum discuss it conceptually. After all, that is your job as a commissioner. I believe you have more to offer as an elected official and look forward to seeing what you achieve in the years to come. Mayor, <clears throat> I think I've served more with you over the last nine years than anyone. It was your initiative creating the Budget Advisory Committee which in turn started my career in community service. We have done many good things together on this board and we generally see eye to eye on city business. You've been a great mayor and you'll be sorely missed. Thank you. To Commissioner Vatikiotis and the newly elected, I say congratulations. As you know, now the real work begins. Good luck to you all. Lastly, as your commissioner, I have never spoke poorly about or discussed anyone. I rarely discussed past events and chose mainly to discuss ideas, which I believed were in the best interest of this community, because that's what I believe a leader does. Thank you all. Commissioner Mary Elect Leticuris. Commissioner Donovan. Oh. Turn the light off for the last time. Okay. <laughs> Commissioner Donovan, go ahead. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, first of all, most importantly, I want to thank the residents, uh, each and every one of you. I see a lot of people that can relate, but being born and raised in Tarpon Springs is like winning the lottery. I mean, it is the best place on earth. It is everything to me. It has given everything to me. Uh, so first and foremost, I just want to thank the residents for their trust and support uh, over these past three years. Uh, to the board, I think, you know, we all brought different perspectives, different experiences to the table, and I think we did a lot of good with the time that we had up here. Uh, so I appreciate each and every one of you. And to our city employees, our police department, our fire department, um, our volunteers from the youth leagues to our, our senior services, uh, nothing we accomplish as a board can be done without you guys and your hard work. Um, you know, I know a lot of times up here we seem like idea fairies, um, but truly behind the scenes, in front of the scenes, uh, it's the city employees that are the engine uh, of our city. So thank you all very much. Uh, it's been a pleasure and a privilege serving. Commissioner Mayor Elect Vatikio. <laughs> Thanks, Mayor. Um, I, I do want to thank this commission for providing me the opportunity to learn over the last two years about uh, being a commissioner, as you know, a city manager. And I've learned a lot uh, from each of you, actually. And um, I also understand your perspective, and I hope you respected my, res my perspective as well on things. And I'm, I'm hoping that will continue in the future. Um, they always say you're never too old to learn, and I genuinely believe that. Uh, Mayor, I, um, I want to actually thank you uh, for your uh, graciousness. I can't tell you how many events we've appeared together, certainly two, th two dozen, three dozen, I don't know. But you've always been very kind to me, and um, you've never hesitated by uh, tying a rope to my waist and one to yours. So wherever you went, I had to go uh, as well. So I very much appreciated that. Um, I, I know that you did a wonderful job with our Sister Cities program, and um, I couldn't think that we would actually ever get better hospitality in Athens as much as the hospitality you in, uh, offered the uh, visitors here. And for that, I'm very proud. And I think the residents of this Tarpon Springs need to, to, need to acknowledge of the outstanding job that uh, Commissioner, or I'm sorry, Mayor Alahousis has done in representing the uh, city at the various events, and I'm sure I've never been at any of the uh, mayor, mayor leadership uh, councils with you, but I'm sure you did an outstanding job as, as well there. Thank you very much. That's it, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the special session meeting. We will take uh, a break and we'll come back for the second meeting. Signed I, and it's adjourned at 7.24 p.m.
So first, if I could have Mayor-elect Batikiotis and his family come forward, please. If I could have you raise your right hand and repeat after me. I. I. Say your name. Costa Vaticotis. Do you solemnly swear or affirm? Do solemnly swear and affirm. That I will support. That I will support. Protect and uphold. Protect and uphold. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And of the State of Florida. And the State of Florida. And the charter and laws. And the charter and the laws. Of the city of Tarpon Springs. Of the city of Tarpon Springs. That I am duly qualified. That I am duly qualified. To hold the office of mayor. To hold the office of mayor. That I will faithfully perform. That I will faithfully perform. The duties of that office. The duties of that office. On which I am now about to enter. On which I'm about to enter. Congratulations. Thank you. If I could have Commissioner-elect Lunt and his family come forward, please. Go ahead. If you could raise your right hand and repeat after me. I. I. Say Craig Lunt. Do you solemnly swear or affirm? Do you solemnly swear and affirm? That I will support. That I will support. Protect and uphold. Protect and uphold. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And of the State of Florida. And of the State of Florida. And the Charter and Laws. And the Charters and Laws. Of the City of Tarpon Springs. Of the City of Tarpon Springs. That I'm duly qualified. That I'm duly qualified. To hold the office. To hold the office. Of Commissioner Seat 2. Of Commissioner Seat 2. That I will faithfully perform. That I will faithfully perform. The duties of that office. The duties of that office. On which I am now about to enter. On which I'm now about to enter. If I can now have Commissioner elect Eisner and his family come forward. <coughs> Could have you raise your right hand and repeat after me. I. I. Say your name. Mike Eisner. Do you solemnly swear or affirm? Do solemnly swear and affirm. That I will support. That I will support. Protect and uphold. Protect and uphold. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And that of the state of Florida. And that of the state of Florida. And the charter <clears throat> and laws. And the charter and laws. Of the city of Tarpon Springs. Of the city of Tarpon Springs. That I am duly qualified. That I'm duly qualified. To hold the office. To hold the office. Of Commissioner C3. Of Commissioner C3. That I will faithfully perform. That I will faithfully perform. The duties of that office. The duties of that office. On which I am now about to enter. On that which I am now about to enter. Thank you.
they said this was going to be tough. <laughs> And if I could have Commissioner Lech Kulyas and his family come forward. <coughs> They're coming. It's okay. they, they run on Greek time. That's you okay. know how it is. If I could have you raise your right hand and repeat after me. I. I, Paniotis Kulias, do solemnly swear or affirm, do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support, that I will support, protect and uphold, protect and uphold the Constitution of the United States, the Constitution of the United States, and of the State of Florida, and of the State of Florida, and the Charter and Laws, and the Charter and Laws of the City of Tarpon Springs, of the City of Tarpon Springs, that I am duly qualified, that I am duly qualified to hold the office, to hold the office of Commissioner Seat Four, of Commissioner Seat Four, that I will faithfully perform, that I will faithfully perform the duties of that office, the duties of that office, which I am now about to enter, on which I am now about to enter. Can't get out now. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. Do you want to do the presentations now? Mayor Vatikiotis, I'd like to present to you your name badges and the most important thing, your gavel. <laughs> I, uh, I, I just hope it comes with a warranty <laughs> in case it breaks. <laughs> Thank you. Can you show it to the photographer? Pardon me? Show it to the photographer. It's off? No, show it to the photographer. He won't take pictures. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, That's very important to the family. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Commissioner Lund, if I could have you come forward, please. <coughs> That's what I need. <laughs> now, I've got several things to present to you. First is the um, key to the city. And there's several of them. And the reason why you're getting several of them, so you could place them at different places in your house. In case you lose, so in case you lose you'll obviously know that you're a commissioner here, but don't forget you're a commissioner at home as well, so you'll be getting your telephone call. We have a uh, tie tack for you, which is a sea of the kitty. Uh, 
uh, uh, lapel tack, a, um, an emblem for your pocket. It's equivalent to a pocket pal for pins and <laughs> things. And then, of course, your name tag, which is very, very important. All right, thank you very much. Uh, congratulations, and thank you again. Thank you. I'm ready to get some work done. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Greg. Uh, Commissioner Eisner, if you could come forward, please. The same goes for you. Um, here's the key to the city. You can put that over your front door for you. Thank you. <laughs> I have electric. We also have a um, a tie tack. Some earrings? No, just a tie tack. <laughs> uh, Another key. Yes. Thank well, that's you. for your tie. Your name. Your name tag and also your um, pocket emblem. So well, thank you. the name tag is very important. Thank, thank you. you very much. Okay, I won't forget this time. <laughs> Commissioner Couillard. to present you with the key to the city. Thank you, Mayor. I know it's been a long road for you, so congratulations. Thank you. We have the uh, tie tack for you, your lapel tack, also your pocket emblem and your name tag, wherever you'd like to put that. Now, For me, um, I've got my immediate family here that I'm going to introduce a little bit later, but I wish my mom was, could be here to see this this evening. She's not. But Commissioner Couillard has got his mom sta sitting right here. So, Commissioner Couillard, I'm going to challenge you that I always want to see a smile on your mom's face. <laughs> <laughs> so do a good job as Commissioner and make us all proud. Thank you. Thank you. I now call to order the regular session meeting of the Board of Commissioners of the City of Tarpon Springs on Tuesday, April 12th at 7.48 p.m. Roll call, please. Giotis? Here. Vice Mayor Carr? Here. Commissioner Lunt? Here. Commissioner Eisner? Here. Commissioner Kouyas? Here. Uh, tonight we're going to have, um, I'm, I'm hoping Father Athanasios is still here. He, there he is. Uh, tonight we have an invocation by Reverend Father Athanasios Haros, Dean of the St. Nicholas Greek Orthodox Cathedral. If everyone could please stand, please. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Christ our God, we thank you for the ministry of the newly seated mayor and commissioner of the, commissioners of the city of Tarpon Springs. We ask that you bless them, that you cause your face to shine upon them, and that you continue to have mercy on them and on our city. For your holy was now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Thank you, Father. Um, 
we're just going to continue on with the meeting now. Thank you. Are there any uh, public comments um, at the beginning of this meeting that don't have anything to do with anything on the agenda? Good evening. Here to like is 514 Ashland Avenue. First off, may I congratulate all of y'all. I saw integrity, honesty, righteousness, and truthfulness during this campaign with regards to what you spoke. And I hope that continues going forward. You speak the truth and you walk in the light. Now, some may not know it, but it's time to read a passage. Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When evil men advance against me to devour my flesh, when my enemies and my foes attack me, they will stumble and fall. Though an army beseech me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then will I be confident. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to continue a little bit about what I spoke about earlier, about our democracy and what's going on in the world in Ukraine. And I want to bring forth a memory that maybe some of you have in your own personal history or the history of your family. We in America have become selfish, non-communal, and how do I point this out? During World War II, yes, Pearl Harbor was attacked, but we're so far away from oceans, nobody here really in the U.S had bombs falling on their homes. To be at night hearing a plane flying over and wondering, is that the one that's going to land on me? But yet, our grandparents and our parents made sacrifices. How did they do that? Gas rations. They collected iron and scrap and rubber. You've heard the stories. You've seen the film clips. And yet, what do we do now? We're so selfish. Oh, we do, a dollar more in gas? Would you rather be sending your sons and, sons and daughters and uncles and aunts and cousins and family to war? So what is our recourse? If we send men in airplanes, do we get into a nuclear? Because you can't trust despots. They don't care. It's obvious they don't care. So what do we have? to strangle them off. So what is our sacrifices in this? These people over there, <laughs> they were established in 1991. So that's 31 years. We heard the Star Spangled Banner earlier. That was done in 1814 after, during the War of 1812. How old was America then? 12 and 24, 36 years old. They're no younger than we were when we were fighting for our independence. We cannot stand by and complain if we don't do more to help these people. I pray that we, we find a way to end this. But in the meantime, I don't know about you, but we are so lucky here, and we so often don't respect all the graciousness that comes to us, and we get greedy and selfish. I was taking a shower the other night. I had hot water. I had water. Water. I just feel their suffering, and I wish we could do more. And the only way I see it is 
us being willing to make whatever sacrifices are necessary to help them. May God bless you all and may God bless us all and give us courage, strength, so we can overcome the evils of the world that surround us, especially during this season of Christ rising for us to overcome evil and to be the truth of righteousness and justice for all of us. There's a song I heard today on the on, <laughs> goes, Didn't hear it right. God don't hate the Muslims, God don't hate the Jews, God don't hate the Christians, but we all give God the blues. God don't hate the atheists, the Buddhists, or the Hindus. God loves everybody, but we all give God the blues. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Delacus. Are there any other comments? Would you please state your name and address, please? John Kulianis, 1020 Peninsula Avenue. Um, all this swag you guys have been handing out, Irene, do you get ten, do they t get 1099 for this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was just wondering. Um, on be, uh, seriously, on behalf of the Planning and Zoning Board, um, I want to congratulate the new board. We look forward to working with you. We look forward to our workshop that will take place in May and that we have a nice, seamless relationship. Um, you know, it doesn't look like you guys are going to get much of a honeymoon. Uh, I think you have to get to work quick. And I know that's the way Costa wants it. Um, but on a personal note, Costa, Mayor Costa, you and I uh, were arm in arm in your first campaign for mayor. Um, I wasn't much of a campaign manager, hence the, the result. But I think we made a, a wonderful friendship that I will cherish for the rest of my life. And, um, you know, if Costa had a, but I think we're fortunate that Costa didn't win because today he probably would be in Ireland at a pub <laughs> knocking down a beer. <laughs> and instead, God had other plans for you. And I think you're the right guy for the right time. Thank you. And I wish you the best. And you? Are there any other public comments? Hey, I'm Eli Garniku uskategi I live at 1482 Hillview Lane. I guess I'll just go for it. Um, thank you guys for accepting the position that you've been elected for. Um, I, I bet you've been on Alderman Road. Uh, if you've looked into some of the history surrounding this area, like how it meant to be an alderman was basically what your position is, but like they were also the people who had the most resources in the community and could share. So that was what made them have so much responsibility. I really thank you guys for taking so much responsibility and basically dedicating however many more hours you're gonna be stuck in meetings for the next couple of years, Costa. I recommend you don't run again if your hair is white by the end of this term. If it's not completely white, you can run ahead. But I, I, do, I do suspect it will turn completely white because you will do a lot of things. And because I figure you will do a lot of things, I figure I'd make a bunch of propositions. One of the things is I've been doing a lot of field work, basically, in terms of going on the border of Tarpon Springs and figuring out what it is. And I was trying to understand what it is that there is a settlement called Anclote and an area called Anclote. And Anclote High School is not in Tarpon Springs, but it's in Pasco County. And it turns out, as many of the times this is true, that the previous barrier was the train, the train, which is now, well, it's like the Pasco Trail, but it's connected to the Pinellas Trail, I think, because it's the same train line. So that was the dividing feature. So looking at that was very interesting. And because of that, and if you go to the West Pasco Historical Society, um, a lot of the history that we have here is shared with West Pasco, Areas like Holiday and Newport Ritchie were considered part of Tarpon Springs. Um, and the fact that we're in Pinellas now is also a pretty recent thing. I uh, had to do with us being too far away from the seat of Hillsborough's County, which is Tampa. Uh, with that, that in mind, I'd like to think 
that we should have a mutual aid kind of agreement with PASCO in regards to one, historical resources, but also uh, the natural resources that we should be in communication with them in terms of protecting the Lake Tarpon watershed and uh, everything to do with the Anclote River. Um, but we should also be pointing each other to their parks. Uh, if there is also a Greek church in Newport Ritchie and Papa's Colony is up there and there's a lot of people of Greek descent over this border that is the county line, then we should uh, like just agree to agree to share, not share resources, but like send each other to other people because there's parks, like we're right on the border. We should um, em cooperate with that so that like for recreation purposes, mm -hmm. um, we know what's going on. Uh, the other thing I would ask that you keep in mind for your term is protecting water resources uh, and hoping keeping the water clean so that uh, the scallops will come back to the estuary and we'll be able to go scallop uh, hunting and we'll have scallop season down here if we can get the river clean enough. Um, and to set things up so that we never have to dredge the river again, we just learn to adapt with its movement. Um, you have all, you, they talked about how you have a lot of money set aside and uh, basically, I think that's great. Um, but part of emergency preparedness is setting things up for the future and making sure that you have not just the infrastructure of the physical infrastructure, but the human infrastructure, the human resources, the people who know where things are. Um, the people who know where things are in the city and are willing to, willing to stay in the city. So one of the programs I would ask that you do is like a civil service core almost where it's like you choose to be a city servant. I feel like the city commission position should be like jury duty and eventually everyone gets to do it. But besides for that working for the city, like that would be cool. Thanks. Thank you. Are there uh, any other comments? Um, hearing none, I'd like to turn to the commission now and um, um, ask if the commission has any comments concerning their uh, swearing in and their new positions. I'd like to start with my comments. I think it's important that the residents know where I'm going to be coming from and uh, I've written down a few thoughts in that regard. But first I'd like to acknowledge a couple of people that are important to me. I mentioned that earlier. Dolly, uh, my wife, um, is here this evening. She, you, many of you know her. Our younger son, Stefan, um, he lives in Tarpon Springs and his very special friend, Irene Lalekas, is here with us tonight. Our oldest son, uh, Sozon, was here, but he left. He splits his time. He and his family split their time between Florida and Michigan, and he has to get back there this evening. And our daughter, Catherine, and her fiance, Stephen Honore, uh, both of which live in Baton Rouge, uh, Louisiana. I'm very pleased to have our three children here with us this evening. Thank you. Well, the election is over and the hard work begins. Uh, to that end, I'd like to offer an observation, actually a lesson that I learned in the military. It's especially appropriate for this new, commu this new commission. Know the past and don't repeat the mistakes. Again, know the past and don't repeat the mistakes. The idea here is when you become part of an organization, Based on a proven model, if you don't make mistakes, the organization will function as it should. We have a council manager form of government. It's proven and it's the most popular form of government for small cities in the United States. So we are not here to reinvent the city government. We're here to use it as it was intended without making mistakes, certainly not repeating those of the past. One obvious key ingredient to any representative form of government is to listen and know what residents want. Even though about 26,000 people now reside in Tarpon Springs, by my estimation, over the town's 135-year history, about 300,000 people have been born, died, moved here, and moved away from here. They all shaped the town into what it is today, and no matter how involved they were, they nudged the town in a certain direction. To that end, all the planning that is being done today is with resident participation, and that includes the advisory boards. And you will see the effects of that process in this year's budget and in our current city planning efforts. 
Our comprehensive growth management plan is being updated after 15 years. It will identify the needs and deficiencies of our town. The long range strategic plan was initiated that will build on our past and address the priorities of the future based on those needs. Long range planning and the resident's vision of the future is a critical component of city government that somehow has been forgotten over the past 20 years. Our town is over 90% built out. Nevertheless, there's a lot of work that is needed, especially in the area of infrastructure. And of course, we're facing new challenges as well with climate change and flooding from being the lowest city in Pinellas County. Now regarding the commission, and this is really a message to all of us five, um, we each have one vote. We have no authority individually. I recognize with the title of mayor comes a leadership responsibility and I will do what mayors do in representing the city. However, I wish to point out the duties of mayor and the city's charter are only two sentences long, just two sentences, not a lot. And one sentence states that the mayor shall have no voting power greater than any other commissioner. For the duties of vice mayor, it's only one sentence long. So some may view titles as being important, but for me, it's the vote and what we do with that vote that counts. After all, that's what affects our lives. Moreover, when it comes to making decisions, all members of the commission are equal. We must listen and learn and respect what the majority of residents want today. It is our responsibility to know what they want. It may not be the same as what we want personally, but we are not here to serve ourselves. We are here to serve the residents. For me, I am honored to be here, but more importantly, I'm hoping we can honor you, the residents of Tarpon Springs, and honor the 300,000 or so who came before us and at the end of our terms, leave Tarpon Springs and city government better than the way we found it. Thank you again. Um, Commissioner Lunt, would you like to say anything? Um, yeah, I don't have a long speech prepared. Um, I'd like to thank my wife, uh, my family, my close friends for supporting me through this. Um, I'd also very like to want to point out my new friends, of which there are dozens that I have to thank for encouraging me in this. Um, I look forward to working with the city. I want to welcome my new commissioners, uh, partners, and, and teamwork. Um, and I want to say a few words about why I'm here. I wanted to represent the people of Tarpon Springs because this is a city that I've grown to love over the last 11 or 12 years. Um, one of the reasons I'm here is because there's, I'm a details guy. I like to things see in their, things in their proper order. I want to make sure that we keep the maintenance of our town up. I want to make sure that sidewalks repaired, that we get crosswalks, we get lighting, that the people are respected, heard from, and considered in every opinion we make. Um, that's my promise to you, and I'll do my best to uh, uphold it. Thank you. Commissioner Eisner. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I want to introduce my family. I have uh, my first cousins, Mark and Ann Todd Eisner. Thank you for coming. I, I'm proud to see you here, and I'm proud to be family with you. Um, I have my cousin Mark Grunspect here as well. I'm thrilled that you were able to come and celebrate this day with me, and I really want to thank you for being here. Um, I have my brother Neil, who's here, and it's going to bring a little bit of a emotion to me, but I'm really happy that you're here as well. Um, I have my son Gabriel here who flew in from LA and his friend Dave is here with him. And I wanna thank you both for being here in one of the most honored times of my life. Um, I have my wife who is more than a wife. She's been my campaign manager, my treasurer, my go-to person, my person who knocks on every door with me and you've, been just so much to me. I love you more than life itself. And I'm willing to do anything for you. I know most of you don't realize I come off as a very tough shell, but I'm a very emotional person and a very soft-hearted person. 
Now I hope with the tears in my eyes I could continue to read what I wrote. <laughs> this seat is very comfortable to me. I've sat here for seven years on the Board of Adjustments. I've made decisions. My, the Board of Adjustments is a final decision board. Um, the, the city trusted me to make those decisions for seven years, and I hope that you all trust me to make those decisions for you as well. Um, this is my time to thank you all. Thank the residents for voting for me. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm honored and humbled to be one of your city commissioners. The C3 vote ended up very close, too close for even me to like. It was a nine vote lead. Nine seems to be my lucky number these days. I wasn't born in Tarpon Springs. I chose to live here with my wife because we love it here. It's charming, it's historic. The people are amazing. I have nothing bad to say about anybody here. I just love being here and I love to serve. I don't want it to be built out. I plan to make you proud with my common sense and my good decision making. I care a great deal about this city. I'm also very approachable, available to meet, want to listen to what you have to say. As people get to know who I am, you'll find out 98% of the people swear by me and 2% swear at me, and I like that. <laughs> I don't think I can please everybody, but I will do my darnest to please the majority. So in meeting our residents these past few weeks, I began to get a better understanding of what's important to you, and I'd like to continue to hear more. What, what would you like to see remain? What would you like to see change in the city? How can the city help you personally or even on your block? It could be flooding, sewers, home repairs, traffic, speeding, events. And I take back speeding because you've all shared with me that's one of the pet peeves that everybody in this town wants speed bumps and speeding eliminated. I'm doing my best I can. Um, we all have a lot of work ahead of us here. Not just the four commissioners that work with me, but we all have work for you. We need to hear from you. Please participate in the live workshops and register online and TARP and connect. I agree with you, what, whatever you just said. <laughs> um, please attend the commission meetings. Without the commission meetings, we can't really know what you're saying or thinking. Um, tell us your thoughts. I ran on an open um, time frame. I want to hear what you have to say. If I could respond to you and give you an answer right then and there, I will. If I can't and I have to do research, I will do that and get it back to you. Um, we're all Tarpanites. We're not Democrats or, or Republicans. Let's be the shining example of unity. Tarpon Springs belongs to all of us, and together we can continue to make it the best place ever to live and raise our families. And I thank you again for your support and confidence that I will do the right thing for this community. Thank you. Commissioner Coulier. Thank you, Mayor. Commissioner Eisler, you probably won't be the only one tearing up, so. <laughs> uh, first and foremost, I give all the glory to God. All things are possible through Jesus Christ. The Lord helped guide me through this campaign, and faith can push you to places you've never imagined or dreamed of. I want to thank the citizens of Tarpon Springs, my fellow Tarponites. I love the city just like you, and always remember, we did this together. We live in the most historic city on Florida's Gulf Coast, and it's an honor to be your representative at City Hall. Whether you moved here or are born and raised, this one is for hometown Tarpon Springs. I won't take it for granted. I'm gonna work hard for you. I know tough decisions must be made that require empathy and care. I'm blessed to serve with a board that has the wisdom, knowledge, and experience to lead the city forward. I often think about my grandparents with my mother and her siblings who immigrated to Tarpon Springs in 1971 to provide a better quality of life. I often think about my father who immigrated to America in the 70s to find a better work opportunity and pursue the American dream. I know he's looking down from above prouder than ever. To my aunts, uncles, cousins, I often think about how blessed we were to live in a traditional Greek family 
uh, family life in Tarpon Springs, right in the sponge docks. It's an honorable day for our family. I love you all. I want to thank my campaign donors because without your help and belief in me, I couldn't have ran a professional campaign. I want to thank my campaign advisors. There's many of them. <laughs> they help guide me with advice, strategy, and support from the beginning to the toughest times of the campaign. I want to thank my friends throughout life because you helped shape me as a person and friend. I want to thank my friends who have been there in my life this past decade. You all have been there for me, especially through the toughest times of my life. The next two I have to be short because I'll burst out in tears thinking about everything I could say about them. To my brother Mihaly, I love you. To my mother, I love you. She's the reason why I have faith, strength, and courage. You mean the world to me. To my fellow Tarponites, I hope this campaign inspired you to stay active in local government. I hope that I inspired you to face adversity in the face with your head up high. If you believe you can achieve no matter how much of an underdog you are, I hope I inspired you to believe that not one portion of your life defines you, but the journeys as a whole shape you, and my new journey has just started. I only told a few people because I wanted to keep it to myself. I dedicated this camp campaign to my brother, Miguel Cuyas, who passed away in December 2019. The energy, ambition, sharp wit, love for others, and toughness you see from me, I get from him. I also dedicated this campaign to the men, women, and children who from Tarpon Springs, who under God's will left this earth early. There's too many to list over the past two decades, but they are all watching from above, making sure we take care of our hometown. I dedicate this campaign to those struggling with mental health, addiction, and depression, if you're battling and struggling, I ask to keep fighting. Life is precious and you are loved. I dedicate this campaign to all the families who experienced this tragedy and were there unconditionally for their loved ones. I think of you too. My fellow Tarponites, I appreciate you for letting me pour my heart and soul out in this thank you speech. This is without a doubt the greatest accomplishment of my life. Thank you all, and God bless Tarpon Springs. Um, Commissioner Carr, you're an old timer like me on this commission. <laughs> do you have any words of wisdom? Yeah, uh, I do want to start off in, in saying welcome to all the newly elected. Congratulations on running. Um, as you've come to learn, um, campaigns are hard. Uh, campaigns can be fun. Campaigns could be not fun. Um, there's a lot of uh, punches that can be thrown. I think you all did a great job in the campaign season. Uh, you fought hard. The city of uh, residents have spoken. You all have earned your positions. Um, now we're going to work together. Uh, something to keep in mind as well is we're not going to agree on everything as a board. Um, but the, the best thing is that we're representing the city and we need to do what's best for the city. Although one may feel it's best to say no, one may feel it's best to say yes. We got to come on the next agenda item and go back into a clean slate. And we want to make sure we're moving the city forward like we've had for many years. I'm looking forward to serving with you all. Uh, Mr. Coolia, we went to school together from middle school and high school. It's, uh, it's, <laughs> I wouldn't imagine that we would be serving on a board here uh, representing the city. Uh, Mr. Lunt, I've gotten to know you over the past year during public comment and conversations that you've, uh, we've had here. Uh, Mr. Eisner, I got the chance to meet you when you first moved to the city. Um, looking forward to working with you more here on the board. And uh, Commissioner, or I'm sorry, uh, Mayor uh, Vatikiotis, um, I've enjoyed working with you over the past couple of years and looking forward to serving this next year with you as well, too. Thank you. Congratulations to you all. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we're going to move on with the um, special consent uh, items. Um, item number one appointment of the commissioner to uh, general employees pension board 
Uh, first, let me ask if there's any public comments on this. I don't want to monopolize the time, but as Mr. Eisner said and some of the others, these are where decisions are made and this is where they can hear how you want to have things done. Um, five, Peter, Peter Locks, 514 Ashland Avenue. I'm gonna kinda consolidate one, two, and three together because I was kinda doing some thinking about what I heard during the campaign and kinda trying to match up who I heard to match up to these different positions. And as a board, you'll make your own decision, but on General Employees Pension Board, uh, I would recommend Commissioner Eisner because he has board experience, but I think he also has a concern for the general employees that I've seen him show over the last year of speaking. Uh, for appointment of Commissioner to Homeless Leadership Network, I would recommend Commissioner Panayoti Kulyas. He spoke about mental health and addictions, and the homeless have a lot of that, but also I heard during one of the forums in the discussion about the Shepherd Center and maybe moving the homeless out of town. They're, they're gonna be here whether you move it, but I just feel having a relationship with that network will allow you to see other opportunities. And again, also affordable housing ties into that and density. We can't be afraid of density in the right places. And for appointment to Commissioner uh, to Tampa Bay Regional Planning Council, I would recommend uh, Commissioner Lund. And the reason being, as he has stated, he's very uh, detail-orientated, and, and the Tampa Bay Regional Planning Council does a lot of studies. They do studies not only on transportation, but they do environmental studies, they do impact studies about where businesses are developing and, and things of that nature, and I think you have a very good grasp of a number of different areas that you would satisfy those. So those are my uh, recommendations or what I would suggest that the board look at. But I would also like to at this point say that uh, I'm proud of all of y'all, and as a new board, I would like to see uh, an agenda item come forward with regards to rules of procedure. Um, we've had discussions about that, about reallowing remote access, either through phone calls or Zoom. We did this during the pandemic. For a lot of people, <laughs> and Maria Maria knows. <laughs> Panayoti, come up here. You got, got mom on the line? <laughs> and she talked. There's a lot of people who want to participate. This is how we get more people involved in participating, by allowing as much access. So remote access, and if you want to go back to donating time, that's fine. I showed you how it actually saves you time, but those are some of the things I'd like to see you uh, work upon in your commitment to having more access to the community. Thank you, and God bless you all, and may God give you strength, wisdom, and courage. Thank Amen. You. Thank you, Mr. Galakis. Um, for the record, those changes are going to be coming forward. Uh, many of them are pretty much uh, a given for what this uh, candidates had discussed on the campaign trail. It's just a matter of uh, trying to put the resolution together to, and then bring that back to the commission. I think we'll be talking about that at a workshop uh, on April 21st. Um, with regard to the uh, appointment of the General Employees Pension Board, I'm a member of that board. I've been on it for two years. It's an excellent uh, board. It meets uh, quarterly. Um, I had promised the board that I would be on it for three years. I've been on it for two years. Unless any of the commissioners would like to stay or take that over, uh, I'd like to finish up my one year on that uh, board. So, I'm fine with that. Okay. Um, I'm now mayor. I was a commissioner. I think we need to have a nomination and to appoint me as the uh, uh, member of that. Motion to move uh, Mayor Vaticiotis to remain 
as the appointed member from the board to the general employees pension board. I'll second. Okay. In, any comments? No comments. Roll call, please. Commissioner Cuyas? Yes. Commissioner Eisner? Yes. Commissioner Lunt? Yes. Vice Mayor Carr? Yes. Mayor Badakiotis? Yes. Uh, this item number two is the appointment of the commissioner to uh, the homeless leadership uh, network. That's something I was also, also a member of. Um, basically, they meet by Zoom down county. Um, I think that's an excellent way of uh, meeting or else we'd be driving down to uh, Largo and uh, spending a couple of hours at their meetings. Also, along with that appointment goes a um, um, an appointment to our own uh, homeless uh, action uh, committee that is actually headed up by uh, Police Chief Young. I'm also a member of that, and, and that's actually an excellent uh, committee. We had a uh, meeting today, and it's produced some outstanding results. I'm hoping we can get some uh, a presentation on that in the near future. So um, I'd like to hear a nomination for that. I, I think Mr. Delacus uh, mentioned uh, perhaps Mr. Coulia. I know your interest in, in um, in the um, uh, mental health issues and, and um, it would be up to this commission as far as the nomination. That meets quarterly um, and I think monthly as far as the down, down county uh, board by Zoom. Uh, are there any uh, public comments on this item? I hear none. Um, may I have a motion please? Move to nominate uh, Commissioner Paniotis Kulias. Second to uh, the board. Are there any commission comments? Roll call, please. Commissioner Kuyas? Yes. Commissioner Eisner? Yes. Commissioner Lunt? Yes. Vice Mayor Carr? Yes. Mayor Vatikiotis? Yeah, yes. I'm actually struggling because usually I vote first. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a little new to me. Um, <laughs> item number three is the appointment to the uh, Tampa Bay Regional Planning Council. Um, there wasn't a whole lot in your backup on this. Um, I asked Ms. Hickey, um, our administrative assistant, to provide a little more information. And um, the, this council, which, I, and I've been at their meetings before, it's an excellent council. It is the leadership of Tampa Bay that attends these things. Generally, it's the mayor that um, uh, attends these of each of the municipalities. It's an excellent networking opportunity. For me, I would like to stay focused um, on Tarpon Springs and, and um, allow, and, and my political aspirations are very limited to the next three years, that's it for me. But some of you may wish an opportunity to uh, expand your horizon a little bit. Uh, this board meets uh, the second Monday of each month at uh, 10 a.m. down in Pinellas Park. Uh, they discuss a variety of issues uh, that or of concern to Tampa Bay Regional Planning Council, uh, population, environment, very many good things. And, and again, you get to exchange ideas with the, uh, um, with the, um, uh, the people that are in attendance. And they've also got a, a very large staff. It is a public meeting. Um, so um, I just, uh, let me just go ahead and introduce that. Are there any public comments on this item? I hear none. Um, does the commission wish to make a motion to nominate someone? Uh, move to uh, nominate Commissioner Carr. Is there a second? Second. Is there any commission comments, discussion? <coughs> Commissioner Carr, are you okay with that? Yeah. Good, excellent. Um, roll call, please. Commissioner Kuyas? Yes. Commissioner Eisner? Yes. Commissioner Lunt? Yes. Vice Mayor Carr? Yes. Mayor Badakiotis? Yes. Um, let's see, there's a, uh, and now the um, resolution for appointment of Vice Mayor. The, um, I have to start this uh, process out by reading the uh, instructions for that. Um, the way we do this, it, it, we have to appoint a Vice Mayor every year at the first meeting in April. Um, the chair, meaning me, um, opens the floor for nomination. Each member of the commission, upon recognition by the chair, shall have a right 
to place a nomination for the honorary office of vice mayor, the name of any other commissioner or themselves before nominations are closed. When all nominations have been made, the chair will so announce and declare nominations closed. If only one commissioner is nominated, that person will be declared by the chair to be elected and shall serve until a successor is elected. If more than one nomination has been made, selection of vice mayor will be accomplished by motion. If no, no, if no nominations are made or if no nominee is elected by majority vote, the most senior commissioner shall be appointed as vice mayor. Um, let me just get, share with you my thoughts on this. Um, I heard, I think you heard in my comments to the residents uh, what my sense is of titles. And I really believe that um, vice mayor uh, follows the mayor at these events, uh, certainly in the event that the mayor's not there, and it gives that individual experience. And what I want to do is give each of the three commissioners that came up here an opportunity to uh, get that experience. And so what I would like to do is at least suggest that perhaps um, as a vice mayor to me, I'd like to start with um, Commissioner Lunt, who's only on this board for one year, and then you have to decide whether you're going to uh, seek re-election or not. That will give you the uh, position of vice mayor for that time frame. And then after that, for each of the other two, um, I'd like to follow that in alphabetical order. Um, Commissioner Carr, you've been vice mayor for two years, so um, I'd like to distribute that uh, position to the rest of this commission. Are there any public comments on this item? Okay, I hear none. May I have a motion? Motion to appoint Commissioner Lund as vice mayor. Actually, let me ask, is there any other, nom or, uh, I, uh, I'm asking for a nomination. I nominate Commissioner Lunt for vice mayor. Okay, is there any other nomination? I'll second that. Okay, well, we, by, uh, by uh, uh, since there's only one person, uh, you are going to be the uh, vice mayor, Commissioner Thank Lunt, you. congratulations. Um, now what we have to do is memorialize that by resolution. And Mr. Trask, if you could read the resolution by title, please. Yes, Mayor. This is resolution 2022-11, a resolution of the Board of Commissioners of the City of Tarpon Springs, Florida, appointing Commissioner Craig Lunt as Vice Mayor of the City of Tarpon Springs and providing for an effective date hereof. That was a reading of resolution 2022-11 by title only. Thank you. Now we have to have an approval of that motion. Um, I'd like to have a nomination for that. We need a motion for adoption of the resolution. That's correct. Just move to approve the resolution. The no, as read. To approve the resolution. Second. I'll second that. Are there any commission discussions? No, I just want to say thank you for your <laughs> trust and confidence. Okay. <laughs> You're thanking me now. <laughs> All right. Um, roll call, please. Commissioner Kouyas? Yes. Commissioner Eisner? Yes. Commissioner Lunt? Yes. Commissioner Carr? <laughs> yes. I'm sorry, Vice Mayor Lunt. Mayor Vatagiotis? Yes. That concludes the agenda for this evening. Yeah, I'm going to move on to uh, staff comments, see if there's any, uh, at, at least in this second part of this evening's uh, venue. Uh, Chief Young? Uh, yes, I want to congratulate uh, Vice Mayor Lunt, uh, Commissioner Eisner, and Commissioner Kulias. Look forward to working with you all. And on behalf of the men and women of Tarpon Springs Police Department, I look forward to uh, what we can do for the city uh, together. Um, Mayor Vatikiotis? Uh, you know, our, our paths have crossed many times over the years since I've started here. Uh, first, when I started here as a police officer, you were a city manager, and then now working with you on the board, look forward to working with you in your new role as mayor and uh, continue uh, moving the city forward, as well as uh, Commissioner Carr, look forward to working with you. It's continued as well. Thank you. Yeah, that, those crossings have always been good, Chief. Remember that. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. Um, City Attorney Trask. 
Congratulations to everyone that, uh, that won their elections. Look forward to working with you um, in the next couple of years. Thank you. Thank you. City Manager LaCourse. Yes, congratulations to all of you. Um, we had the occasion, we had, six, we had a six hour, I think, meeting on Wednesday with the, with the new board, um, where staff and my department heads and stuff um, are ready to hit the road. This commission is probably in all the years I've been up here, this committee, this, this commission has the most on the agenda, the most work to do right out of, right from when this meeting ends um, with a strategic plan, a comprehensive plan. The, the, the slate is full and we need to go running. So in the six hour meeting, I think they saw that and everybody's ready and, uh, and myself and staff are ready to move forward with everything we've got going this year um, for the betterment of Tarpon Springs. So congratulations, look forward to working with you. Thank you. Uh, City Clerk Jacobs. I would also like to congratulate everyone. Um, I look forward to working with you and for you. Um, I too have also worked with Mayor Vatikiotis in all capacities as uh, City Manager, Building Director, Commissioner, and now Mayor. And I wish everyone the best. Thank you. And I also wish to thank City Clerk Jacobs for um, everything that her office has done for us as candidates. Um, I know that she spent an awful lot of time uh, explaining the details to us of actually why we can't do this or why we can't do that. So I'm very happy that uh, she kept us out of trouble and, and I'm also looking forward to continuing our um, uh, relationship together. Uh, thank you. Uh, board comments. Uh, let's go to, um, I guess, Vice Mayor Lunt. I just want to say that I'm really actually quite proud of the team we have here. I look forward to working with all of you uh, to uh, continue to make Tarpon Springs one of the best places to live ever. Thank you. Uh, Vice Mayor, I'm sorry, Commissioner Eisner. I'm sorry, I should, you're the next senior after that, is that correct? Mm -hmm. Commissioner Carr. Uh, again, congratulations to all the board members. Uh, we're coming into a budget season. I hope we could lower the tax millage rate this year. Um, I want to say Happy Easter. Uh, one of the great things of Tarpon Springs is we have two Easter's. Uh, it's one of the greatest celebrations in our uh, year. I think we should celebrate, and I'm one grateful for that we do celebrate this um, proudly and uh, as a community as a whole too. So Happy Easter, everybody! Thank you, Commissioner Eisner. Thank you, Mayor. Um, I just want to say that I am very proud to be up here. I'm very proud to work with this extremely experienced, diverse group of people that I've enjoyed cross-sectioning all their ideas. And I, I think the this committee will get a lot done and we'll have a lot of different ideas, but we can work together and make the city better. And I do want to thank our city attorney, uh, the chief young uh, city manager, Mark LaCorris, and the clerk and the assistant deputy clerk and I just want to thank you all um, for what you do you most of the people don't realize your hard work that gets done behind the scenes so uh, the people up here do appreciate it we'll always you know be thankful for what you do so thank you thank you Commissioner Kulia I'm just very honored for this opportunity it's a it's an absolute dream uh, I want to thank city staff I they've been so great to me touring it's just showing me around city hall different departments and uh i look forward to doing anything we can to make a better tarpon springs thank you okay um it's 8 38 so we'll be finishing at a reasonable hour i've said a lot tonight and um we will be having shorter meetings i i promise you if, if not I'll, I'll i'll do something up here so um anyway um i want to thank the residents of Tarpon Springs for being patient with everybody this campaign season. I know it was uh, trying for many people um, and um, that's behind us now and I'm hoping that we just continue going forward. I'd like to list everything that's on the plate right now for us to tackle but it's, it's way beyond too much to describe to you. I've provided a list to City Manager LaCourse he and I will be getting together. We've got a workshop, uh, which is a sequel to the orientation, the six-hour meeting that uh, City Manager LaCourse described. 
there'll be a, a, a workshop to kind of orient ourselves from what we should be looking for in the future in terms of priorities, especially the rules of procedures and some of the other things that are um, were at the forefront of the uh, campaign season. We'll be addressing those as well. I wish to um, thank the entire staff again um, for uh, basically uh, surviving this election season. I know sometimes things got testy with them as well. I've worked with the city manager to try and, and, and keep that from um, getting too, too out of hand. I think we've been successful. We do have an excellent staff. We need to give them an opportunity. Uh, we're policy makers. We will give hints at what that policy ought to be, some direction. And the staff's job is to actually take what our direction is and to, to basically create the policy and then get that back to before us for any t final tweaking that needs to be done. So I wish to thank everybody. I'm very proud of the commission that we have up here this evening. I know we're gonna do great things. Um, we're, as Commissioner Carr said, we're not gonna agree all the time, but I think the outcome will always be the best for the residents of Tarpon Springs. Thank you very much and good night. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I like this. <laughs> I want to blemish it.